So what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for clicking my video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Jerry Little's Joker voice, Suicide Squad, and Ben Affleck's Batman. Let's start with Jerry Little. Um, you guys seen the trailers. You guys seen um, the little snippets of Joker here and there in the trailers. But it, I found this video. It's going to be in the link in the description box below. Hurry, check, check it out because it's so sweet and awesome. I heard about it like a year ago. I know I'm kind of late, but the movie comes out like two weeks, so that's one thing to get really excited about is that Jerry Little's Joker is going to be really creepy and scary and it's something different, something we haven't ever experienced before, at least his version of the Joker. And in this video, you can hear that he's having conversations with what appears to be like some of, of his henchmen or whoever, and he also talks about, well, I could make out of it his incident with Jason Todd because he said that was the last time I used crushed glass and some other cool quotes and you can hear him laughing. If this is really Jerry Leto's Joker voice, they do. This is freaking creepy. I really, really, really do hope so. This is his voice because it's just insanely, you know, creepy, scary, suspense and feel to it. But, oh, and also a fun fact, the reason why he has bracelets, uh, or grills, whatever you want to call it, is because when he met with Batman, you know, a different encounter time, Batman punched him in his mouth and his teeth went flying. That's why he got grills or bracelets to um, replace him. That's why he has it. And also for the tattoos, the more, like, he wears them, more, like, badges, you know, memories on his body of certain instant incidents or situations that he thought it was memorable enough to get it tatted on if that makes sense i don't know and yeah let's talk about ben affleck's batman now for as long as we could remember in every single movie ever put out there we always see batman through his his eyes we never see batman through the criminals that he hunts down at night and all that stuff but in suicide squad we're going to get a taste of that seeing Batman in the eyes of the criminals and it's really really scary I also read an article it's down in the description box below make sure you guys really do go and check it out um the best way f for me to make you understand is like if you've seen Batman for Superman and like in this clip right here how Zack Snyder introduced Batman you know how it brought a suspense um creepy feel to it more than usual yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to get in Suicide Squad. Obviously, you guys have seen it already. If you guys haven't, go check it out. The trailer of Suicide Squad it shows Batman on top of Joker's car. We're going to see Batman like that more. You know, he's going to, David Ayer is going to give us that more insight, creepy feel towards Batman in Suicide Squad. So that's really, really cool and sweet. I just wish they would have, they would make a movie just Ben Affleck's Batman and Jerry Lewis Joker. And that's it, you know, and make it like rated R, violent, and really creepy, dark suspense feel to almost like a scary movie in a way. And I just think it will so great. And I will go see that. Like, that would be so cool and amazing and mind blowing. That literally would be cool. And just throw in Jason Todd as well. And we can see um, almost like the killing joke, pretty much like that with Jared Leto, Ben Affleck, and Jason Todd, but make it like rated R from the start, and just make a lot of blood and suspense feel to it, and I just think it'll be really great and awesome, um, yeah, I just really can't wait until Suicide Squad to see Ben Affleck, um, as Batman again, but through Jared Leto's eyes and Harley Quinn's and Deathshot's. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait. It comes out in two weeks. Make sure you guys go get your tickets. I already got mine. And yeah, until then, I'll probably be back on here for a um, Suicide Squad movie review. Maybe a little vlog too. I'm away with it. I don't know. But until then, thank you, thank you guys for staying this long into the video. And, and to be the Batman, hit subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Always, always be yourself. Thank you, guys.